Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the problem of the day. A DNA contains 84 hydrogen bonds, it contains 12 guanine bases, find the number of adenine cytosine bases. So as usual I recommend you to pause the video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So how we are going to solve this problem? First we need to use a Chargaff's rule which tell us that number of cytosines in double-stranded DNA always equals to number of guanines and number of thymines always equals to number of adenines. But this is not uh, enough in order to solve this problem. We also need to know how many hydrogen bonds between cytosine and guanine and thymine and adenine. And here is my mnemonic technique. This is not scientific method, this is just mnemonic technique. How to memorize which uh, base pairs has uh, double bond, hydrogen bond and which has triple bond. Take a look. Letters C and G look similar. Unlike for example T and a, which doesn't look similar. So C and G, cytosine and guanine, we can say that they are like relatives. And relatives has more uh, bounds between them than unrelated, for example, people. So that's why we put in between them triple bond. And double bond, hydrogen bond, would be between thymine and adenine. So this is my mnemonic technique. I hope it's going to help you on your exam. So now it is very easy to solve this problem. We know that we have 12 guanine bases and we know that guanine always base pair with cytosine and we instantly know that we also have 12 uh, cytosine bases and between uh, each such base pair we have triple bond. So 12 guanine cytosine base pairs we would have 36 so uh, 36 hydrogen bonds. So we can put this number here so we would have 36 uh, hydrogen bonds here. And uh, that means that uh, the rest would be hydrogen bonds between thymine and adenine. And we know that total number of hydrogen bonds is in this uh, double stranded DNA 84. So we can say that this is going to be 84 minus 36. So number of the hydrogen bonds between thymine and adenine uh, would be 40. Eight. So we have found the number of hydrogen bonds between thymine and adenine and that means that uh, we actually going to have 24 uh, pairs of uh, thymine adenine. So we just have to divide by 2 and we are going to get number of pairs of thymine and adenine which is going to be 24, 24 uh, adenines and also 24 thymines. And between them we are going to have 48 hydrogen bonds. So again, let's return to our question. Find the number of adenine cytosine bases. So this is number of adenines. And according to Chargaff's rule, when we know that uh, we have 12 guanines, we instantly know that we also have 12 cytosines. Or we also can divide 36 by 3 hydrogen bonds between pairs of uh, uh, cytosine guanines and we are going to get 12. So 12 uh, cytosines. 
So this is going to be an answer uh, for number of cytosines and uh, again we can say number of uh, zymines also so I would use different color because uh, we are not we are not asked uh, this question and uh, again we already know number of guanines which is uh, here 12 uh, so we know now composition of this double-stranded DNA, we know number of guanine, cytosines, adenines, and zymines. As you see, calculations are very easy. So again, uh, if we return to our four bases here, if we know that number of guanines 12, we instantly know that number of cytosines also 12 in this double-stranded DNA. And uh, according to our calculations, we also have here 24 adenines. And also that means that we should have equal number of zymines. So 24 zymines. And again, let's check. Uh, we have 24 pairs of zymine adenine with double hydrogen bonds between them so 48 hydrogen bonds here and we have 12 cytosine guanine base pairs with 36 uh, hydrogen bonds between them uh, so 36 plus 48 would give us uh, 84 hydrogen bonds and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.